Sitter, uh, got the, uh, the uh, invitation to meet uh, Omar Sharif at my dad's club. He had ran a club on the Sunset Strip, and uh, and we uh, he was playing cards there at the club my dad was managing. And, and uh, we went and, and met Omar Sharif, and I, I loved my babysitter. She was really wonderful and pretty. Uh, uh, and when I saw her like fall to pieces meeting Omar Sharif, uh, uh, I was like, what's this all about? And I knew we were going to go see this man in a movie later on. It was like the premiere of Grand Prix or Le Mans, Le Mans, you know, and in Hollywood, and and, uh, and that's when I, I I thought, wow, if if I could get that her to do that for me, that means I have to be a star, and uh, and that was little, you know, probably five or six years old. When it, so so later on, you know, I I, I kept pursuing <coughs> acting. My parents didn't want me to act. No, no, they're they're, they're gambling, drinking. Oh, it is. Playing cards, no, no, it's don't. But then when they finally saw my name, uh, co-starring, I think it was Twilight Zone movie, was my first time on the screen, and then later on uh, other films. Uh, then they started supporting me, and I remember I, I got a nice role in a Clint Eastwood film, and you know Clint's got this aura, and he's a star. You know, it's like wow. And but uh, you know, so I really didn't meet. I, I auditioned, got the role, and we were about to work with each other, and. He was scouting up the scene, a shot after the one I was in, and went for a walk. I followed him. It was just Clint and me on the road. And, and he turned back to me and he said, "Yeah." And I said, uh, <clears throat> "Mr. Eastwood, I'm Jeffrey Weissman. I'm, I'm going to be in the scene the next shot." And he, he looked at me and said, "Yeah. Who do you think hired you?" <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I don't know. You know, I I worked with a lot of stars, and I always. Seem to put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Ooh, that was bad. Yeah, that I'm, was real I'm bad. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot on the line here. Yeah. There's a lot on the line. You're not saying anything else. I'm not hearing anything yeah, else. I, I don't want to say anything bad. Any, any more. Oh, you've said enough. Oh, you've said enough. I, just hand me a script. Just hand me a script and... Oh, no, no. You're, you're Miss, I don't need a script. You're Miss, I'll say what I want to say on camera. <laughs> I don't care about my scene partner. I'll just say what I want to say. I'm an improviser. Yeah. <laughs> you have no place in the movie business. Sorry. Just hand me a script, okay? I, I, I've learned my lesson. I'll never I need a script. Again. I'll never do it. <laughs> um, great, so Janice, um, we'll be back at 10. Okay. Um, maybe maybe 10, 15, right where I'm close to playing. Yeah. So uh, Sam Lewis, um, he's down at about 8.30. Oh, you wore your suit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you dressed up quite a bit there, Sam. I said to put on your jam jam. I, how do I look? <laughs> uh, you'll be you're ready for church in the morning. <laughs> Those are your jam jams. We'll be back at nine fifteen. <laughs> Let your cabinets close. Midnight. I I put on something called midnight dusk. I can smell from over here. Yes, thank you. Yes, no, I have. You know, it's really it's really time. It's it's past time for your bed. I watch this movie, and they do this. Okay. <laughs> so <who does? laughs> that's great. That's great. Go to sleep game and then be real quiet. Yeah, they did that too. <laughs> 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 
in about an hour and a half, and... you got to be a star! You're going to work with Clint Eastwood. He's going to remember you every time. That's, that's the movie. He's, he's auditioning actors in town right now. Let's... <laughs> this is kind of for real, right? Wow. Uh, so, when I go in, I... Uh... This is what you got to say. The crystal ball is going to tell me what you're going to say. <laughs> Put on a hat. <laughs> Who loves hats? Uh, uh, baseball, uh, cowboy hat. Put on a hat. 
Don't tell your parents. I don't know what that means. <laughs> smell it. But I have to get this close. You have to get that close. <laughs> I wish I could smell it from my bed, because then I could wake up and be like, I know, some sausages, and then I could just come down. Yeah. And then you wouldn't give me a heart attack every time. <laughs> it's terrible. Sit back. down. Back. Sit down. It's time for goulash. <laughs> <laughs> to her wedding on time, she is going to be angry, because I always am late to everything my sister does, wait, and wait, wait. <laughs> So I talked to Mrs. Kraken, Good, and because I don't want to be late, because if it breaks down late, again, then we're just going to have to go all the way. <laughs> She's gonna freak out. She's gonna freak out. I will not be late to my sister's wedding. I will get there as quick as I can. each other in the Cute. audition <laughs> <laughs> to do in the in the film. Oh, not for the film, Craig, honey. Not for the film. <laughs> oh, I'm not in the, the film? No. You're going to stay here in the trailer. Oh. <laughs> and then when I'm done directing, you'll help me relax. Let <laughs> me give you a pot. It's for taxes. Don't worry your pretty head about it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be on the crew? Is that... About five minutes to tell the story. Okay. Okay, this. Great. So I'm your you assistant. You sit down right here, Greg. Come and have a seat, Aldrin. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, this is good. This is good. So. You 
fix yourself a drink. Uh, you get nice and relaxed. Okay, but uh, are we are going to talk to me about your films? Sure, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> as different characters at a theme park and then uh, I, I wrote a show and I got it accepted on a cruise ship and got to take the show uh, playing Stan Laurel, Laurel and Hardy uh, doing magic and music on a cruise ship in the South China Sea and uh, one night after the, the show was usually at 11 o'clock at night because it's gambling ship and uh, and after the show one night uh, I guess several of the audience wanted to buy us drinks in the bar so at the ship party, we're getting plastic. These guys, though, wanted to hear uh, our jokes and wanted to tell us their jokes. And, uh, it, you know, drink after drink, everyone's getting really kind of tight and uh, <laughs> some pretty good jokes. And I'm pulling out the, my best jokes. And I, I've got a lot of jokes. And uh, in fact, I could tell probably five different bear jokes right now. Like, you guys want to sit down for a while? Like, but, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, and, and these, uh, these Asian men, most, most of them are uh, uh, from Malaysia or Kuala Lumpur or Singapore or uh, Thailand. And uh, yeah, they thought our jokes were okay, but they had better jokes than us. And so they had to tell us their jokes and see if we were going to laugh. My partner and I, and you know, it's uh, three in the morning, four in the morning, the jokes are still going, the drinks are still flowing, and every once in a while, the, uh, the, the head guy at, at the casino, uh, from the casino, comes in and gives us a snarling, kind of stern look and goes away. The next day I find out, you know, <laughs> six in the morning, I finally excuse myself, I gotta go wake up. And <laughs> the next day I find out that we were keeping these millionaires from coming and losing their regular half a million or a million dollars in the casino. And they were very upset with Laurel and Hardy on the ship. Uh, in fact, uh, they, they were downright pissed at us. And <laughs> so uh, well, then I found out that one, one guy that had the best jokes 
he lost like a million dollars the next day because he was hungry and wasn't thinking right. And he had his helicopter come and take him off the ship the next day. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I, I spent a summer in the Midwest, uh, uh, just outside of St. Louis, working at a Six Flags, and uh, you know my my break room was right underneath the the Batman ride, and it's a trailer, right? And I had never really been in a tornado before. Uh, <laughs> uh, when the sky turns green, you know that's a sign. It's a sign. It turns kind of a green, dark, dark, very dark. <laughs> and uh, the, we were on the tornado. Because sometimes the uh, tornado watch, uh, they, they said, uh, oh, yes, it's about a mile away. Um, you should get out of your trailer and go to a real building. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we go to the, the, the brick building. And yet, sure enough, lightning struck the Batman ride. And uh, you know what? People didn't really think about it. They're still riding the rides in the theme park. And so they closed the ride for five minutes or something. <laughs> I don't like that too much. So I brought my uh, fiance at the time, my my now wife, uh, out to visit, and and we we decided we go camping. And and sure enough, during uh, this camping, uh, at, uh, we had a nice dinner and and uh, I got some food and drink. And we uh, knew there was a storm coming, but we still wanted to camp. <laughs> so we went and camped, and uh, sure enough, the storm buckets and buckets of water and lightning and everything and but I had a, this uh, single malt scotch that was like 24 years old or something we and we got naked and ran out in the water <laughs> in the rain it was really quite cool and the, I remember up on the hill was a statue of Colonel Babbler in this park you know and the things that he saw <laughs> <laughs>
o'clock right now. Sorry, I can't turn okay, it off. Okay, it is almost bedtime. It's a bedtime! <laughs> Let's get that alcohol. Let's get that alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's really warm. I brought <laughs> sippy cups. I brought sippy cups. <laughs> it's warm. Guys, turn it off. Guys, turn it off. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a beautiful night in Yosemite. Yeah. I mean, wait, listen. Yeah. Just listen. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to the alley. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. It's a long way from an alley. Yeah, I don't know what that could mean. No, let's keep them. Let's keep them. Yeah. Let's keep them. Just, you know, let's not let this ruin our no, night. No, no, we're still, no, we are we're still drinking still without drinking. children. No kids. No kids. No kids. No kids. No kids. Just two cats. Two kids. Two kids. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm more of a dog person. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> 